So there's a big difference between body language and nonverbal communication. Body language is obviously what you're doing with your body, what it says. Nonverbal communication is, is your actions more so. For instance, is chivalry dead? No. No, it's not. Dead. It's not. What are some of the nice things people do that are actions that can that help? Opening doors for us, uh, helping us put on our coat. And, and I'm speaking from the ladies' point of view. We love that. Absolutely. So doing something that that does take some sort of action. Is yeah, and you'll see. You know, when people awesome. talk about the body language, and yes, of course, it's the twirling of the hair to let them know you're interested, and leaning forward and touches too. But if you don't follow that up with opening the door or helping them push in their chair or with their jacket or even so many simple things as uh, picking them up, you know, from their house or oh, something or like that. Like no. Picking them up? Well, that would be nice <laughs> if there were a fire and you had to leave the building at a very fast rate. But um, it's basically too, it's like even when you're making the phone call, you don't want, you want to make it in a time that's going to create emotion and time. And that's non-verbal communication that's, that's feeding into the emotions. So it's just something that you want to be conscious of also is for instance, if you want to make plans over the weekend, if you called on Monday, it's too early because the energy level by the time it gets to the weekend is not, is not right. So maybe you want to make that call around Wednesday or Thursday. So the emotion peaks in the middle and then they're thinking about it and then it comes up again. So, But you don't want to make it on a Friday because then you're communicating that you're just not putting them at a priority level right. that they're worth. Exactly. So it's all about communicating without actually communicating. Yes, exactly. There are so many different languages in, in love. So hope you can figure them all out.